Good morning, guys. I figured I'd do some mod shots first. This is the bag that I chose for the bag of the week challenge. Today is Sunday. Um, it's about 7.30 in the morning. I carried this from last Monday, all week at work, all day yesterday, and today I'm going to change out because I cannot use it today. I have too many things that I have to do that cannot include this bag. But in any case, this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Demir Abin in the 30. Just to give you an idea, I'm five foot one, I'm small framed. This is what it looks like in the crook of my arm. This is what it looks like on my shoulder. I didn't attach the strap for crossbody, so um, I wouldn't wear this crossbody. It's pretty large. Um, you all know this bag. This bag has been around for a thousand years. Um, and the reason I chose this bag as the challenge bag is because I work full time and I need a large bag every day during the week so I can schlep my crap back and forth from my office to my house. So this bag is full. Um, but for the weekend, for running around, for shopping, this bag was not convenient. <laughs> it wasn't. Not convenient at all. It was fine um, if you've been following my channel. By the way, I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. If you're new, thank you for joining. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Um, we were doing a bag of the week challenge. Um, there's about nine of us in this collab and I will link everybody's channel below and I will hopefully be able to link every video below, but there are some, um, uh, some uh, YouTubers that I'm not even subscribed to yet. So I have to subscribe to them and then get their link also. But I know that um, for the most part, the group that I'm familiar with, Yoda, Winnie, Eva, Dawn, um, I'm not sure who else um, might be doing this challenge, but again, I will get everyone's um, channel down below. This video is being filmed Sunday morning, but it's not going to be uploaded till Wednesday. You're going to be seeing this video on Wednesday. Anyway, so this bag is really a workhorse type bag. There's everything and its mother in here. Um, I have an insert, and I'll tell you right off the bat, I love everything about this bag. It's great for work. It's way too big to bring to the store. It's heavy. I had to keep, yesterday I went shopping with Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, and hopefully you'll see that video. She came from Pennsylvania to Staten Island to go shopping at TJ Maxx. So, we had our bag of the week challenge with us and this was mine and I had to carry this around TJ Maxx. <laughs> it was not, it was not convenient. I kept thinking I lost my wallet because it just was getting lost in the bottom, in, 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 not in the bottom because I have an insert, but it's just, it's a mess in here. I had to keep putting it on the counter there. I had to keep throwing it in the back seat of my car. It's not a great run around bag. It, it's just too much. It's too heavy. It's too thick. It's too, too much. Um, but for work, it's great because I don't have to carry it anywhere. I bring it to my office, I plop it on my desk, and then I put it back in my car and go home. So I love everything about this bag. Um, I did mention before that the lock is starting to change color, getting a bit, um, looks a little bit like an orangey, like the brass is coming through. So basically, you know, they're not made like they used to like they were used to the, the metal is junk and it's already changing i have this bag under a year so um or maybe just about a year it shouldn't be changing color so that's one thing and that's probably going to happen with all louis vuitton bags unless you have one from 20 years ago then it won't happen so besides the hardware being made of junk um the only other thing i don't like about this bag the opening is not big enough, not big enough to slide the insert that fits in and out. Let me show you what I have in here. I have my YSL 
key pouch, which I've been using because my Gucci key pouch, the zipper pull fa fell off and I'm afraid to use it now. I put it back on. So I have this. Um, I have the insert and I'd like to take the whole insert out, but you can't because it won't smush enough when it's full to get through this. So for me to use a different tote tomorrow, let's say, or Tuesday or whatever, I have to take everything out of the insert, everything. I have lipstick in here. I have hand sanitizer in here. I have poopery. Always gotta have that at work. I have Motrin, Tide Stick. This is in the center. Oh, look, I, see, I never empty these. I have uh, Sharpies. I don't wanna put that back. My hair gel lays the little flyaway frizzies. A hair clip. I have my mini readers. My zippy wallet. I have an, a, a mask at the bottom. I have a pencil case. Yeah, hair on it. A junky pencil case. I got like a pack of five of these from Amazon for like seven dollars. But you know what? If you don't want to have an expensive pencil case or pen and you want to protect your bag, why not, right? No, the $500 Louis Vuitton pencil case is in the closet upstairs doing nothing. I have my dollar pencil case in the bag. Oh, look. I, oh, I have another mask. Another mask. Two stickies. Sunday. That's today. Tina, 2 o'clock. Angela, 3 o'clock. That's pedicure, manicure. I have another, okay, I write my list. I'm gonna to run to the supermarket. Apples, bananas, vanilla cream, coffee, cups, and floss. That's, that's what I need here. Uh, what else? Oh, I got some Jolly Ranchers. My little case with my mini hand sanitizer and a chapstick, I would just put into a mini bag that I'm gonna to use today, thank God. Oh, there's the chapstick, another chapstick. Tweezers. And Aquaphor lip balm. Oh wait, oh wait. My regular reading glasses that I take back and forth for work. Wait, I have paper here. I, mean, I don't know what this is. Let me see. Oh, my son. My son wrote his schedule because I needed to um, schedule a blood test for him for his job. He had to get the TB. So he wrote his schedule when he's available to go to the doctor. That was last week. Oh, wait, I have other stuff in the pocket here. What do I have here? Oh, hand sanitizer, wipe, and emergency. I drink these, I don't think they're the best around, but I do drink them. The emergency, if I'm feeling like something's brewing, I'll my regular vitamins that I take, I'll add a, an emergency drink, because I just, I don't know it. Maybe it's up here, but I feel like the more vitamin C kinda lessens the severity of a cold, but I, I don't know, I haven't had a cold in like four years or so. And I've never had COVID. Not that I'm aware of. Anyway, now, now, now I can get this thing out. It's like having a baby. Now I can put this in another tote and I have to refill it. So that is why I don't like using this bag. Um, that's the only reason why because the insert can't just pop into the next tote, out, in, out, in. It's a procedure. I have everything on my table now, and let's say I'm gonna use, um, I think about what I'm gonna to wear tomorrow for work, and I'm gonna take my black, whatever, my black Neverfull, bring it down, and I put the insert into the black Neverfull with all the stuff. But then if I go into my Fendi tote, I just pull the insert out and put it into my Fendi tote. Not with this. You have to empty the whole insert and put the insert in and then put your stuff in. So um, 
That's a huge flaw with the Speedies. Um, I don't know if the 25s, the 20s, the zippers are going down the side maybe. I'm not sure. But um, not on these. And it should. It should have been done like that. By the way, this is just a change purse. I mentioned a story about this that when I went to get my hair highlighted, I think the peroxide sprayed and made marks on this. So I kind of ruined it, I think, but you, you can't really tell. Anyway, so this was the Bag of the Week Challenge collab that I did with all those wonderful women who I will link down below once I get their information. <laughs> um, and, you know, like I said, I am very happy to be putting this back in my closet today and switching to a mini bag so I could run around today easy breezy voila I can't wait to see what the other guys girls people chose for their bag of the week it should be really interesting and fun so please after you watch my video go and check theirs out um, it's a lot of us it's like nine of us so it, it should be it's a really fun collab for everybody. Um, anyway, quickly, jewelry me the day because I want to ask your opinion about something. I'm wearing a turtleneck. It's kind of 70s. I asked Dawn and she said it looks great. What do you guys think? A turtleneck with a necklace underneath? You know that whole 70s look where you wear the blazer and you have a necklace on your turtleneck? It's very 70s, but I like it. I like the way this looks. So let me show you what I'm wearing. I have my studs on. I have my Movado two-tone. I'm two-tone today, gold and silver. I'll show you why. I just showed um, my video yesterday of my uh, shopping extravaganza with Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture. At the Staten Island TJ Maxx, I bought this Lagos ring, which is 18 karat yellow gold and silver. And I got this on sale it was, um, it's an $800 ring. It's still on the Lago site and in department stores for $800. And I paid $279 plus tax. It's two-tone. So I'm wearing this. I love this ring. I've had this ring on my wish list for months. And I would not pay $800 for it. I just won't. I wouldn't. I won't. I wouldn't. I wasn't going to pay $800 for any sterling silver. I know it has 18 karat gold in it, but... And I know it's Lagos, but I was not spending that. I won't even spend $800 for a sterling silver Hermes, you know, which I did buy on, uh, you know, I have that Hermes Kelly pendant. And that was like, oh, I don't know, 300 or something, whatever I paid. Anyway, great, great deal. Go to your local TJ Maxx. They've been stocking up like crazy. So two-tone gold and silver with brown. I am wearing this chain. I have to come up close. Tell me what you think. Does it look nice with the turtleneck? Look at this chain. This is a Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Louis Vuitton chain. I love this chain. You know what? It's not a chain. This is the chain that came with the trunk papillon bag. <laughs> it's the top handle. And I put it on my neck and I said, I like it better as a necklace. Why not, right? Check this out. This is so cool. So not only did I get a bag with a leather strap and a gold top handle chain to alternate, but I got a necklace all for the low price of $3,000. I think it looks great. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, would anyone think this is, oh, she's wearing the handle from her bag. I wouldn't know the difference. I don't think anyone else would. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. And um, again, this is Wednesday. I filmed this on Sunday. You're seeing this on Wednesday the 15th. So I will see you technically next weekend. See, when I pre-schedule, I get all confused. Anyway, have a great Wednesday. Bye.